Today, I want to talk about who makes a great coach. What does that even look like? Are you qualified to be a coach? I think the word coach and that title is very intimidating because you might think you have to have a six pack. You might think that you have to be this nutrition expert or you have to know all these workout moves or you have to know the entire beach body catalog of workouts. Or maybe you think it means you have to be perfectly disciplined in your own workouts, that you're waking up at 5 a.m. every morning to get your workout in. Well, the awesome thing about what we do is that couldn't be further from the truth. All of those misconceptions that are probably stressing you out aren't necessarily what it takes to be a great coach. In fact, I'm not perfectly disciplined with my workouts. I'm a normal person, and that's part of what's gonna make your story inspiring. When you're vulnerable and you're relatable, when other people can connect with you and see if you can do it, that they can do it too. So I'm gonna go through some characteristics that make a great it all coach. starts with you. It all starts with leading by example, creating your own personal testimony and your very own success story. By you leading the way and paving the way for others, that's what inspires them and gives them the courage to get started. Now, do you have to be a fitness expert? Do you have to know everything about nutrition? If someone asks you a question, then you have to know the answer. No. The awesome thing, what I love about Beachbody is they hired celebrity trainers to put together the workout programs. The celebrity trainers put together the meal plans and we have an entire website dedicated to resources to help you answer those questions and help people get through it. As a great coach, your role is to give accountability and support, to be vulnerable and share your journey, to share tips and strategies that help get you through the programs. It's about leading by example, being relatable, because if you're perfect and you just present this perfect journey and you just did the 21 day fix through with no cheats and you never missed a workout, um, that's awesome for you, but that's not real for most people. That's not very relatable. So if you share the moments where you were really stressed out and you didn't want to do the workout or um, that you just had a really tough day and you wanted to like double up on the chocolate, that's what makes it real and gives people the courage to join your journey. To be a great coach, you also have to have a willingness to want to help people. This business is about helping people and about looking outside of our own bubble and being able to reach out and bring along people with us on this awesome ride. And it's also about having a healthy mindset. Now, you might not be where you want to be right now, and that's okay. But as long as you're taking steps every day to get toward your goal, that's what's inspiring. That's what makes a great coach. We don't all have all the time in the world, you know, we have busy lives and we've got a lot of things going on if you're juggling a job, if you're juggling family, if you're juggling other responsibilities. Those are the type of things that make your story even more inspiring. What inspires me when I hear about a mom who's fitting in her workout when the children are napping or a student who's fitting in a workout on lunch break in between classes. Maybe you're someone like me who's who works in retail or I used to work in retail where I would have to work a 12 hour shift and still try to get my workout in or the many nurses out there who have to get their workout in after a long long shift. Maybe you're someone who's traveling and you're taking your workout on the go with you and doing it in the hotel room. Those are all things that are going to inspire people to join your journey and make you an incredible coach. Do great coaches have to have a lot of time and the answer is no. You can choose how much you'd like to dedicate to your business and you can work it into the cracks of your schedule. When I started as a coach, I was working a full-time job during a busy holiday season. I had a part-time job, I was taking classes, and I still wanted to see friends and family at some point. So a lot on my plate and I was able to fit the business in. And even now as a full-time coach, I work my business around my life. If you don't have a lot of time, that's okay too. I listen to team trainings while I'm doing laundry. You can do it in between taking care of your family or your animals like mine. To be a great coach, do you have to know a lot of people? And the answer is no. When I started, I only had about 150 Facebook friends. But through the business, honestly, as I'm a huge, huge introvert, so talking to people is kind of terrifying. So the business is really what got me to come out of my turtle shell. It was the thought of being able to help inspire other people 
and help give them what Beachbody was able to give to me, which was confidence and a renewed sense of fun, the ability to dream again, the ability to start thinking, you know, about an exciting future and the possibilities. So I didn't have a huge network at the time, but slowly I built my network and I did that through social media. I did that, you know, every time I go to the dog park, I make a new friend and I don't think of it in terms of like, oh, this is somebody that I'm going to get for my business. I just think of it as like, how can I make friends, and how can I enrich the lives of the people around me? How can I add value? And if you do that and you have a compassionate heart and you just have a servant mind where you think about how you can help people, then your network is naturally going to build and you're going to have an incredible following of people who are following your journey and who want to join you and want to be a part of it. To be a great coach, do you have to be a great leader or know all the ins and outs of the business? The answer is no. Now I know as you start to develop your team, you might not feel qualified to be a leader or to train them on anything. And I felt the same exact way. But what was really comforting for me was to know that our team has so many trainings and so many resources available. And there are so many people that want to see you succeed. So many people like your sponsor who are willing to hold your hand, to answer questions, to help you find the answers and find the trainings that you need so that you can use them and pass them on to your team. Being a great coach has nothing to do with what's on the outside, your physique or your abs or your body fat percent. It has everything to do with what's on the inside, your compassion for other people, your willingness to be vulnerable, your willingness to share your journey, and to put the focus and the spotlight on some of the goals that you want to achieve. Being a coach really holds your feet to the fire and helps you stick to your goals. It's about being relatable. It's about being positive. It's about being that person in someone's life that shows belief in them, shows them what's possible, and shows them that it's not about perfection, it's about progress. As you start your journey, the number one focus is going to be on you. People are going to watch your journey. They're going to watch you consistently make those good decisions day after day. Drink your water, eat healthy, drink Shakeology, do your workouts. They're going to watch you strive for progress and not perfection. And as you do that, you're going to build trust. You're going to give them the courage to step forward and go for their goals. The number one thing that makes a great coach is simply having that compassion to reach out and help another person, to be willing to be vulnerable and share your journey, and to be willing to be in that moment with them when they're at that crossroads where they can make a decision that's going to change their life for the better. So if you have the heart for it, if it pulls at your heartstrings, you are going to be an incredible coach.